Hi everybody, it's Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to review the Striker Ice SureFlow Climate Bibs. It's these bibs right here. I had them for about a year. I wore them uh, all last winter ice fishing. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features and I'm going to talk about my thoughts. And they're all mostly all good thoughts. Uh, so if you're interested in purchasing them, there'll be links below in the description box. They're Amazon links. You can click them over to Amazon. You can check out other people's reviews or purchase them there if you want. If you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to have you as a sub, so consider subscribing. These bibs, I have nothing but really good things to say about them. Uh, the only complaint I have is that for me, the crotch area is a little too tight. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that I hate tight-fitting clothes. Like, if I go get fitted for a suit, you know, I'm telling the, the fitter that, that this, like, I can't, that we need a bigger size because they're too big and they're all, they all shake their head at me like, no, no, it's, it's a good size. So I just, I really don't like tight clothes. So I'm like hypersensitive to it. But for most people, it's probably going to be okay. But for me, that at 6'3", 205 pounds, most of the muscle, um, this is an extra large. And I just feel like the crotch, well, it initially was too tight. After ice fishing for a day and shoveling, the fabric broke in, it's a lot better now. And when I'm out on the ice or when I'm out shoveling, I don't even really notice it. It's only when I'm sitting around doing nothing that I notice it. Uh, so it's not really a big deal. I'll put the size chart up that came off the Striker Ice uh, webpage. I'll put that down below so you can check it out. Uh, you'll notice that there's, there's no difference between a large and an extra large on the inseam length. Uh, it's, it's the width, and I'm typically a size 34 waist for most jeans. It's a 38 on, on the extra large, but when I was purchasing them, I had to consider the fact that I'd have long johns on, and I'd have a shirt on, and I'd have a coat, because this is going to go, a lot of times this is going to go over the coat. Not every time, but uh, well, if it, as long as it's not like negative degrees, this is going to go over my coat, so my coat's going to be tucked in. So I had to keep all that in consideration. I had to consider the fact that I like loose clothing, uh, and also just ice fishing, there's a lot of bending and turning. Uh, so I kept that, and I went with the extra large, and I'm really happy with it. But, you know, there's no, um, like I'm pretty happy with that. So. If you're, if you're around the 6'3", 205 mark, consider the extra large. Uh, you can always return it. And if you want to go long, if you want to go bigger, the cuffs adjust. You can roll the cuffs up. You can't roll them down, but you can roll them up. So consider that. Um, so let's talk about uh, some of the features. First, you know, safety's first. We'll talk about that. It's got sure float, floating assistant technology in it and it will supposedly help you float and it's not Coast Guard approved, but that, that, that material's in here. And if you look on YouTube, you can find people jumping in pools with the bibs and the jacket, laying on their back, just floating. Uh, I don't know how real all that is, but you know, it's something to consider. Um, this is a nice feature that they're, you know, they're thinking about your safety. So the we'll talk about pockets, you got a chest, one chest pocket, two side pockets lined with fleece, and you have two thigh pockets, and the thigh pockets come with buttonable microfiber cloths, which are really nice. Um, when my hands get wet, I'll typically wipe most of it off on my shell, and then I'll use the microfiber cloths to dry it off. Uh, it's a pretty nice feature. I do wish there was like one more pocket, but I'll usually keep my license, my ID in here. Uh, it would be nice to have one extra pocket, but then again, you also have, if you wear a coat underneath, you have, and if you wear a coat over, you have all your coat pockets, but if you wear a coat underneath, it's pretty easy access to your coat pockets. I, a lot of times I would keep my um, GoPro batteries in my coat pockets to keep them warm so they wouldn't freeze up and lose, that, lose energy, power. Removable liner, which is really nice because I can, I use these in the spring and in the fall when it's when it's cold out. Um, I just you know when you're ice fishing, 
like, I don't know, I think being dry and warm is like, like, it's like checkbox number one and two, right? Like, you need to have those. And these, I never ever once complained about being cold, even the slightest bit, or being wet. It's always dry. Um, and I think those are rated, most of the time when I go out, it, I never really went out in sub zero weather, uh, but I would go out in the, in the single digits with wind. <laughs> and I just never had an issue. And I also never used a heater in my tent. Uh, it's something I didn't have last year. So I just I never had a chance to warm up. But I was from here to my ankles, dry and warm all day long. Uh, so consider that. You really want to think about that when you're buying bibs. <laughs> uh, and these will do that for you. Uh, the, the legs have flaps that open up and then you've got three zippers and the zippers allow instant ventilation and the liner has two zippers as well so you can <coughs> open them up air them out and then close them back down really nice feature really really nice like i, I really enjoy that you just got to remember that you have them zipped up because sometimes i'd be shoveling around the ice fishing and i forget that i had them zipped up um i know it, you know, kneel down in the snow and I get snow on my, on my legs. But despite that, even with that, it was fine because they're so warm. They're, they're like toasty, toasty warm. They're really great. The cup. Oh, and then these, these flaps that cover the zipper, they're magnetic. And the bottom's button. Uh, which is good because then you're not going to get snow or ice built up on your zippers, so it would just be like effortless to unzip them. The cups do roll up. I'm not going to roll them up here because you have to take them off, um, but they do roll up and they Velcro and you can button them. So if they're too long for you, uh, you can adjust the, the height. And then the gator is really nice. It has Velcro on it to keep it tight and it's got buttons and an elastic. Here in Western Maine, I do a lot of shoveling around my apartment and I rake snow off the roof. So I'm in snow banks a lot and I, you know, two, three foot drifts of snow. Gators never come, come loose. I've never gotten snow on my food. So uh, really, really nice. The knees padded and these are snakeskin. Uh, so I'm down, my style of ice fishing, I really don't sit in a hut all day. I move. I drill holes, fish them. If there's nothing there, I'll move. Drill more holes, fish them, move. And then usually around lunch, I'll pitch a tent, <clears throat> warm up a little, gather myself, eat some food. So I'm always on the go. I'm always kneeling. I'm always sitting on my butt. Never, ever have gotten wet or cold in these things. Uh, just really pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but all day long, on your knees, on the ice, Especially if there's a little bit of snow, you're fine. Some nice padding in there. Um, it's really not a big deal at all. The butt area, you can see it's a different color, it's a little different fabric. <laughs> a little bit more reinforcement in there. Padding, comfort for sitting down. Never, I'm sitting on the snow for hours. Never get wet, never get cold. Uh, the only part of the bib that, that gets wet are the cuffs. And that's most likely due to the auger bringing up water and standing in the water. Um, but the gator, like I said, is really nice. It, it acts as a barrier. And also the lining acts as a barrier. So you just, you never get wet. Well, I never got wet once. Not one complaint about being wet or cold in these things. So it's really something to consider when you're ice fishing. Um, that's really, you got two little straps here, I forgot to mention. <laughs> if you're snowboarding or something, you can put your lift ticket here. I don't know, I would never I would never put my keys on these or anything important. So I don't really know. I guess you could attach your gloves to these. But, you know, I don't know. It's just a, it's an option that's there. Uh, that's really, I think that's really all that's worth talking about. Um, Again, I'm very, very, very happy I have these. I like, I, it makes me enjoy the idea of going out on, on a frozen 
lake on a you know, cold winter day for eight to 10 hours, drilling holes, not catching many fish. Uh, and so these sort of uh, help me look forward to that. Um, I'm really happy I have them. If you're interested in purchasing them, there's a link in the description box below. You click that link and bring to Amazon. You can check out other reviews or purchase them there. Uh, one last time, I'll put the size chart down for you below. And if you're new to the channel, as I mentioned in the intro, I do how-to videos, product reviews, and fishing adventures that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to act as a sub, so consider subscribing. Uh, you will not be dissatisfied if you end up picking these up. You will not be dissatisfied. As long as you get the right size, you won't be. You'll be very, very warm, very, very dry, and very, very happy. So that's the video. I hope it helped you. I hope it gave you a good perspective. And I hope you catch a real big bass soon, even in the winter. I don't even like fishing for panfish in the winter. It just doesn't excite me. I'm always... We're always in the hunt for bats, so I hope you catch one too, and have a great winter, have a great holiday season. Thank you, bye.